Today's day is April 18th, and why does that matter? I've got a little over a week to film the most amazing Mavic Air 2 review unboxing video before DJI officially releases the all new Mavic Air 2. So I've got a lot to do, we got a lot to talk about, but at least I do have an entire week to go out and film and really get hands on with this all new drone. And well, I'm sure you wanna see what it looks like. I'm sure you've already seen the photos, but have you seen it in 4K with this beautiful lighting setup? Kill the music, let's take a look at the Mavic Air 2 out of the box. The camera itself, the gimbal, looks pretty similar to some of the other gimbals we've seen in the past. Camera has some heat sinking on the back. This camera is putting out a lot of heat at 4K. We've got sensors on the front and the back and on the bottom. So looking very similar to the Mavic 2. The battery itself is gonna be a little bit smaller. The overall form and function of the Mavic Air is to be a smaller drone. Now this controller looks very different from what DJI has been doing in the past with the Mavic line of drones. This actually reminds me a lot more of the higher end professional Sendence remote. And after using it, I'm not gonna lie, I really do like this remote. It's got a good weight to it. It feels really solid. That's one thing that I will say about the Mavic Air 2 versus the original Mavic Air. The original Mavic Air felt cheaper. This is a big upgrade, people. The remote itself, you're gonna pop out this little top. I'm guessing that now this is like the antennas. The little uh, knobs screw on and off. We've seen that pretty much with all the new DJI drones recently. The actual little phone holder is very, very smart in the sense of the way they did this. You've got your iPhone cable, your Android cable, whatever you want, it just plugs into the top of the controller there. So you can see overall, there's a good feel and weight to this controller. The Mavic Air 2 really is a higher end piece than the original Mavic Air. I think the Mavic Air was great at the time, but taking the Mavic Air and basically just redesigning it and making it a better drone is pretty much what DJI has done with the Mavic Air 2. Now, let's talk about the features. Patrick, give him the breakdown. 48 megapixel camera, 8K hyperlapse. I'm excited. This is a big feature. 4K video at 60 frames per second. For someone like me who shoots action sports, boats that are moving fast, being able to slow down 50%, going from 60 frames to 30 frames per second, is going to be a game changer. And a lot of people have wanted this feature for quite some time. Also, for everybody out there who loves slow-mo, 2 is going to shoot 1080p at 240 frames per second. It has the OcuSync 2.0, so the range and the overall video transmission should look amazing. DJI took some of the features from the high-end drone like the Inspire 2 and added them to the Mavic Air 2. Something like focus track, the spotlight active track, and point of interest. The all-new 3.0 obstacle avoidance, which is going to be the APAS 3.0, so it must be better than the 2.0 because it's 3.0. 34 minutes of flight time, sign me up. Let's go test out all of these new features of the Mavic Air 2. So you can clearly see from the footage that the Mavic Air 2 shoots amazing footage. The most common question that I normally get from people is, is it easy to fly? Well, pretty much every DJI drone at this point in time is easy to fly. The thing about the Mavic Air 2 though is that it is not just easy to fly, it's a pleasure to fly. It's very, very responsive. It's got great speed. Overall, like I keep, I keep trying to figure out why I would use the Mavic 2 Pro over the Mavic Air 2. I just can't really figure out what is the biggest difference at this point. 
the camera, the 4K 60 frames per second, the longer battery life, the controller, everything about the Mavic Air 2 is an upgrade not only over the original Mavic Air, but really just overall in terms of drone ability, the Mavic Air 2 is checking off all of the boxes. It's got the internal drive, so if you do forget the SD card, you can record onto the internal drive. The photos look great. Be using the DJI Fly app for the Mavic Air 2, and it's gonna be a little bit simpler, a little bit cleaner than the DJI Go app that we've used with the Mavic 2 and other drones in the past. Going through here, you go to fly. Okay, you can see what the camera's seeing now. If you go over here on the top, you can go through some of the shortcuts. So the actual controller itself charges your phone while you're using it. You can go over here, you can set the max altitude, distance, obstacle avoidance, obstacle warning. It's all just very self-explanatory. I haven't really updated much. I have not really messed with the specs yet as well for the camera. I haven't really done much with that. But you can go over here and you can see the different features with the video, the photo, pano, quick shot. One thing that I have been doing is I've been adjusting the overall exposure value and putting it down to negative three just because it's really sunny and bright here in South Florida. So when you go up here into the camera feature, you'll be able to see JPEG, JPEG RAW, different sizes. You can change the overexposure. You can add the grid lines on there as well, and you can format the card right then and there. All right, so to sum this up, keep it really simple and really easy. The Mavic Air 2 is full of features and technology. It does everything that you would ever want from a drone at this price point, which again, that price point is amazing for what you're getting. I, I still, I'm confused on what is going to happen with the Mavic 2 because the Mavic Air 2 is just so good. And for the price, if you're a drone enthusiast, there really is no better bang for your buck on the market today than the Mavic Air 2. So. I don't really have to sell you on how amazing the price is. I can, in fact, sell you on the footage that you've seen in this video, how amazing the footage looks. The 4K is crisp, it's sharp, it's got really good overall dynamic range. It just looks good. And at the end of the day, as a filmer, as a photographer, that's really what it comes down to. You want a camera that looks good, that's easy to go from the drone itself to the computer to edit, right to Instagram and all that fun stuff. But in general, you're getting everything that you could ever dream of in a very affordable, a very fun little foldable drone. I wish I had more for you guys. I wish I could tell you all the secrets and I'm gonna learn more about the secrets soon. But I do have a lot more footage to show you guys. So we'll go ahead and roll the tape and end this video out with some epic footage that I've shot over the last week. And then maybe like in a couple weeks from now, I'll put out some more videos talking about what I've done, what I've changed. I'll also be updating you guys on some of the features on what I'm doing to make the footage look a little bit better and all that fun stuff. So if you guys haven't already, do me one big favor, hit that like button, the subscribe button, and all the buttons down below. Leave a comment. What do you guys think about the all new Mavic Air 2?